Good afternoon everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to another tier list video. So I've been really enjoying making these tier list videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. So in this one we're going to be ranking the Marvel films um, with Ben and Sam. So I hope you enjoy it, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the video. Cheers. I think I'm always an A tier film. It started everything in the MCU. Robert Downey Jr. got introduced, the Iron Man character was introduced. I think it's an A tier film. The next film that came out was Iron Man 2. I was going to say C tier. I just got a... Elon Musk in. It does. Does that does that raise it up a tier? I'd put it B. I really like because it's got Elon Musk in it. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna not put because it's got B Elon Musk. Just to spite Adam. It's better than Iron Man three. Iron no, Man 3 it's not better than Iron Man three. B, B tier. Yeah, right, Iron Man two is in B tier. Well, you think Iron Man three is better than Iron yeah, Man two? I, Miles better, bro. I'd say I say Iron Man two is a C tier and Iron Man three is a B tier. No, Iron Man 3 is cringy. I love... Iron Man 3 is not cringy. I, love, I think it's a great film. Next one is The Incredible Hulk. Uh, I, I've only seen this I once. I've only seen, seen it, it once and I didn't really like it. There was like a few good things in it. It's, it's not got Mark Ruffalo, No, it's not. It? And for that reason, yeah, it's going in D. <laughs> he just ignored what Sam said again. Sam hasn't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I've seen it, Oh, you've it, seen it? I thought you said you haven't seen it. All right, where would you put it, bro? I don't know, like D. D. <laughs> Case case in point D right Thor Thor one I'd say where would you where would you guys put it Thor one was pretty bad C no actually no Thor one was awful I'd go D it was I was gonna say Thor, was Thor two Thor one Thor two was sh I'd say Thor one was a C tier because it had some good moments in it like um <laughs> like <laughs> like. <laughs> Hawkeye, that was it. What else was good in Thor 1? Um... <laughs> Nothing. The only good bit, the only good bit was when he got his hammer back. It was that, 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 that like, scene where he, like, he got his suit back. Yeah. I thought... I, I'd put it in, like, I'd put it D. I think Thor 1 yeah, deserves C tier because Natalie Portman's in it. No! D. 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 Just because you fancied an actress doesn't... <laughs> what about, what about when Thor got the hammer back but couldn't lift it? I thought that was quite a nice moment humbling you know shit, you're right i'm earth, i'm just talking out really my i'm talking out my ass here it's definitely a d tier film how is iron man 2 a b tier you put thor on it it was better <laughs> i'm on to a black widow in all right yeah, just because you're fancy an actress bit doesn't mean it deserves a b tier no and it had the whole and it had the whole um attack bot it had war machine in yeah, yeah. i thought i'm on two was better than thor one but it doesn't deserve b tier that's such a good intro to the film as well. When he flies in to ACD. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that is pretty good to be fair. All right, the next one is Captain America: The uh, The First Avenger. I think B. I yeah. think B. Actually, oh, I didn't film. mind that to be fair. I think it's a good intro for Captain America, but it doesn't. I don't think it deserves. It's not. It's a B. Yeah. It's quite. I agree. Yeah. It's not Iron Man One level. It's quite a sad ending though. It's quite a sad ending. Yeah, it is. We have to postpone that dance. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I cried the first time I saw it, but I cry at loads of films, so, you know. It's... I'm going to go in like five What? You can't. Two. we got, we got to do this still list. Bro, I've got work <laughs> at nine in the morning. Well, just, this, what the fuck? I got, I got karate at ten. It's seven hours time, bro. I know, bro. You can just, just stay for the tier list, bro. Come on. Uh, I'll do, I'll do, this goes on YouTube and goes booming. You don't get all of the profits because I obviously get a share of the end loads. <laughs> Are you Ben to get a share? You need to invest. <laughs> invest in what? In my in my YouTube channel. So just give me like some money, and I'll I'll, I'll give you. The... Bro, I've got I've got notif I've got notifications. <laughs> on. What more do you want? Avengers. I think S. I think S tier. I like I liked Avengers one. I think Avengers one was S tier. <sighs> it's definitely a groundbreaking movie. But mm, is Avengers one better than? It's not an S tier. Is it better than the Winter Soldier? Because I think Winter Soldier's it's up there. It's better, than, it's better than Age of Ultron. Yes, <laughs> it is. I think it's an A or a B. B? I won't go as low as B, a. mate. We'll put yeah, it, we'll we'll put go, it as we'll A. We'll go A. Uh, the next one is Iron Man 3. <laughs> B. B tier. B tier. It's not a C. C. It's not a C. Don't, don't be daft, mate. It's not a C. It's a C. It's not a C, C bro. Well, we can rejiggle this later on. It's not a C tier film. <laughs> you said it every time. One. The next one <laughs> every time. is Thor The Dark World. Now, I, I did enjoy some things that about Thor shocking. The Dark World. I enjoyed shocking. the scene where Thor gets, Thor gets his hand cut off by Loki and then it twists it and it's like, lol, shocking. jokes. <laughs> it was actually the uh, the reality stone that did that and Natalie Portman's in it, which is always nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> think again. D. Winter Soldier, the Captain America. I think this is an S tier Marvel film. Very good film. Captain America 2, very Winter Soldier. Film. Very good. Amazing film. Brought Bucky back to life. The plot was good. The whole elevator scene. Very good. The f action scenes were all top tier. The Captain America's character was a lot better in uh, in The Winter Soldier than it was in First Avenger. He seemed a bit more like human. Sam, thoughts? Sometimes, yes. I, I have to put this in A. You! It's not my favourite. You could leave, Sam. Feel free to go. <laughs> See, I even think it's oh, I think it's S. S tier. Why would you say A? I'm very intrigued as to why you say A. It's just it's just not my favourite. I Captain America: The Winter Soldier is. Is S tier. S tier. Uh, next one is Guardians of the Galaxy. Great film. S tier. S tier. Yeah, I agree. I watched it the other day. Amazing. Um, after that, it was Age of Ultron. I'd say B. What did we put the original Avengers as? A tier. Yeah, probably B. It, it was still good. It just wasn't as good. It was. I don't think anything was going to be as good as the first Avengers until. Infinity War came out. It's alongside Iron Man 2. That's still that's still in a bad bad place. Oh no, wait, we missed out no. Ant Man. Ant Man one was B. I prefer I preferred Ant Man 2. I preferred the first one. I'd I'd put Ant Man 1 in B tier. Yeah, but it had Jimmy Woo in the second one. Yeah, but I think Jimmy Woo's got better in one division. Yeah, but only because it's built on where he was in Ant Man 2. I liked Ant Man and the Wasp, it was a good film. The villain was better in the second one. That girl, the ghost girl. Is that her name? Ghost? Yeah, but, the, yeah, but she wasn't actually a villain, was no. she? she just wanted to stay alive. She was a... Um... Is, is that guy trying to steal the lab? Because no. then, they, then, they the the then they went into the realm to try the and get the mum back. The quantum realm was, was good. I agree. Then he got stuck in it. Would you put them side by side? Ant-Man 1 and 2 beat it. Yeah, maybe, to be fair. Okay, yeah. we'll put them both. And then next one is, is Civil War. S tier. I think I, Civil War is an amazing movie. A tier. Introduce Spider Man. We had the fight between. Even, no, I think A tier. A tier. What? What? Why A tier, bro? It wasn't that great. Why? What? Why wasn't it that great? Like that scene in the airport was good, but it was just quite. It was quite a slow paced film. Yeah, but they had a lot in it. They had to balance it out quite a lot. Yeah, we I, I, we saw I, I, we saw Wanda and Vision's first like moments together. You know, a lot of stuff kicked off in Civil War. Them. We managed. What when you saw their first moments together? Well, because this was the film where they first started to like hang out together. And they made that soup together. <laughs> they, they introduced Black Panther. The, I thought Black Panther was better in Civil War than he was in his own movie. Yeah, and you see his dad die. And then, the and then we had, and we had the fight, and Bucky, and finding out Tony's parents got killed by Hydra. There's a lot in that film. It's a packed film, and it managed to do it all very well. I'd say S. I'd still say A, but uh, okay. Uh. Oh, that, pa that pains me that does <laughs> right Doctor Strange I'd say B yeah B Iron Man 3 can't be the only film on C tier surely not oh wait 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 oh bro when we, <laughs> when we get to Black Panther that's going on D Black Panther's not a D tier <laughs> it, it, it isn't, isn't it's not shocking it was shocking right okay we're, uh... the only good part of Black Panther was the the scene in Tokyo. That was a six. I thought the fight scene between Black Panther and Killmonger was really good. I thought a lot of that film was decent. I put it in eight tier Black Panther. Yeah. yeah, Guardians two first. That was good. That was a good film. I'd say A. I don't think it was yeah. as good as the first one, but there's still a lot of good stuff in there. Both the Guardians have been good though. You can't put Civil War alongside Guardians two. I remember you said you didn't like it when it first came out. You said you preferred Batman vs Superman yeah. over it. <laughs> that is a controversial statement. That is. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're salty about it. Well, it's just not true though. That that's that's just a long and short of it. <laughs> Do you still prefer it? Don't say don't that watched. should there shouldn't even be a consideration there, bro. <laughs> What's the next film? <laughs> Moving on. Sp Spider Man Homecoming. I'd say A tier again. That was good A tier. Amazing. V Vulture was very good in that movie. To be fair, Spider Man's villains have been some of the best ones I think we've seen. I still prefer Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I don't blame you for that. Because I think Tom Holland's Spider-Man's too childish. I think we're at the age now where we start to relate more to Tobey Maguire instead of Tom Holland. Yeah. Even Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man's darker. It just Tom Holland just feels quite childish. I think it's too techy as well. 
I think it's too Iron Man orientated. It's still good, don't get me wrong. It's still good. After Far From Home, Spider-Man has like, come into his own, I think. I think he'll start to do more things oh, by yeah, himself. I, th I think this next film, he's on the run into yeah. this, this film, so it'll be more... I hope that I'm that Spider-Man 3 is going to be an S-tier film. I think it will be. If it if it's got Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in, and the Spider-Verse, then it probably will be. Yeah. Right, next one is Thor Ragnarok. I'd say S. I love Thor Ragnarok. Oh, definitely, yes. Amazing yeah. film. That was a great Thorag film. I love it. It's one of the... Whenever I think of a Marvel film that I want to watch, it's always one of my go-to ones, Thor Ragnarok. That's so weird. We've got yeah, Thor 1 film. and 2 on D, and then... Yeah, but Ragnarok was something else. Ragnarok was... absolutely spun the franchise on its head and made it such an enjoyable film. Very good. Yes. And it was good for everyone, that film was. It was. I can't think of a dull moment in it, to be fair. There's nothing about it, apart from it was a good film. the lack of Natalie Portman. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll brush past that. <laughs> for God's sake. Uh, the next one is... Black Panther. D. I don't think it's a D tier. I think you. I. I. It was. No. No. It was. Sh I think it's better than a lot of films. Sh this list. I would watch it over I, Hulk, Thor, and I the Dark wouldn't. World. You would watch over Thor, Hulk. You wouldn't watch over Thor one or two or Hulk. Yeah, I would. I would watch Thor over that. Oh my I hated god! It. That it is that awful. is that is a statement and a half. Why? Why did you hate oh, it I so much? I didn't like it. Why? Because I just found it boring. It was boring. Do you remember the what are those joke? And what are these? The real question is what are those? When they, when they whip that bad boy yeah, out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get up and leave oh, at that point. What are those? I thought there was a lot of good stuff in it. I, I thought the um the villain the was very good. The only good thing on it was the soundtrack. And the Tokyo scene. You said that a few minutes ago. Yeah. I thought that um Black Panther had a lot going for it. I had a very good set design. The costume was very good. The Tokyo scene was good. Also, the villain was very, very um, good compared to some of the Marvel villains in this franchise. I thought Killmonger had a good, you know, reasoning for his actions. We'll put it as C, then. <laughs> I think it deserves to be... Uh, I'd say A. I think it's that good. No, it's not an A. I think it's better than Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, The Wasp, Ant-Man, Avengers, Age of Ultron, no, and Captain America. No, it's not an A. All right, we'll whack it and see. I can see you, you, you're at not most moving. Most I'd go B. You're, most? Okay, we'll put it in B then. Infinity War, no debate. S. A third end game. Well, that's that's fair enough. I, Infinity War's my favourite um, Marvel film. Actually, I think it's my favourite film of all time. Whenever I watch it, I get flashbacks when I saw a midnight release. That was one of the best days I've ever had. That and Endgame's midnight release was so good. But they didn't all come together, did the till end game? No, but... I still think there's no debate that it's an S tier film, but I think it's good. It's still good. Yeah. I think it's good they didn't um, they didn't all come together because then it would have taken the focus away from developing them. Because the point was, yeah. if they'd all been together, they'd have won against Thanos, but they weren't, and that's why they lost. And we never seen the Avengers lose. I think that's a good, you know, a good reason why it's up there. And it, it, it set out the biggest cliffhanger of movie history, apart from maybe Star Wars when it was released back in the day. But yeah. that is our, like, generation film. You know how, like, our parents used to watch Star Wars in cinemas and that. This is our, like, film. This is the one we'll tell our kids about. No, no, we'll put an S. Um, Captain Marvel, straight in, straight in the D. Oh, I don't like Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel was shocking. It... I don't know whether it's because I have a vendetta against Brie Larson. Oh, I hate I her. don't like Brie Larson. Oh, I, hate I thought she was better in Endgame than she was in her own film. The problem with Brie Larson is she, she also thinks she's amazing outside she, of the film. I th yeah, so just, I think all those interviews she's she She's got has. this massive ego and it just shows in the film and it just pisses me off. She doesn't have any flaws as a character, which makes her like seem overpowered and she's very wooden. don't like the way she portrayed the character. The only the only good part that I liked in that film was when she unlocked her full powers. I thought that was quite a that was smart. I like seeing Nick Fury in it more than I was, more than seeing Captain Marvel. Yeah, when you found out how he lost his arm. What else was in that film? I like seeing the Tesseract because it kind of brought that full circle. How it got to Shield. Every time I get get around to seeing it, it's always like groan. Oh, Captain Marvel. Right then, it's Endgame straight in the S tier, no doubt. What did we? What did we? What didn't we love about Endgame? 
Amazing film. Captain America carrying the hammer. Seeing all the characters change, you know, how we got Thor went fat and that showed his like human side, I guess, even though he's a god. Relatable. Tony Stark dying brought me to tears every time I see it. It makes me cry. The heroes coming back through the portals it makes me cry every time again. Wanda being the strongest Avenger. Stop. That's already been settled. <laughs> <laughs> Endgame, amazing film. I'm going to be watching Infinity War and Endgame for ever. Right, and now we have Far From Home. I think Far From Home is an A tier. I don't think it's S, not quite. And it's an A tier. There's just something holding it back. I don't know what it is. I didn't like the way it was part of Phase 4. You mean Phase 3, right? Phase 3, even. I thought it took the... Um, Wait out of Endgame. Shine off of Endgame, mm. yeah. Because Endgame should have been the end of Phase 3. Then this should have been like... Start of Phase 4, phase. yeah. I get the whole... I get the whole that it was him grieving Tony and things, and Tony handing over. See, it's it's a it's a tough film to release, because when do you when do you bring it out? Isn't the start of Phase 4 with WandaVision? Yeah. There was Black Widow in um, Phase 3, or is that Phase 4 as well? Is it part of the phases? Because it's kind of just a spin-off movie. Isn't it? it has to be somewhere. It's got, I think it's got to be. Cause... Because it's not... Because cause Captain Marvel was part of the phases because she was going to be in yeah. Endgame yeah. and that. But, but Black Widow ain't going to be in Marvel anymore. I think it's tough. It's a tough time to release Far From Home because you can't bring it out now just as the multiverse is kicking off because it wouldn't fit in. And then Spider-Man's also got a new film coming out for the multiverse. Does spider-man fit in phase four it's like it's like the in between three and four isn't it 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 probably fits in the same phase as black widow does it's like three and a half where would you put one division s i was gonna say s as well it's been so good it has been very very good it definitely wasn't what i expected amazing show i think every every even marvel not non-marvel fans should give it a watch oh definitely yeah, there we go. I've run through it quickly. So at the top, we have... No, what's up at the bottom? At the bottom, we have Hulk, Thor, Thor 2, and Captain Marvel. C tier, Iron Man 3. B tier, Iron Man 2, Captain America 1, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Doctor Strange, Black Panther. A tier is Iron Man 1, Avengers, Civil War, Guardians 2, Spider-Man, Far From Home, Spider-Man Homecoming. Then S tier is Infinity War, Endgame, Winter Soldier, Guardians 1, and Thor Ragnarok. I, no, I can agree with that. Yeah. Nice one. There we go. Sorted. Another tier list. Dunzo. Dunzo.